He said that if he was asked to go to China to meet with Chinese leaders, that he would be happy to do that. But the condition is, is that they would have to have come to some sort of agreement. He says he thinks that maybe if he goes to China to talk about what is happening to the Tibetan people and try to make some sort of deal with the Chinese, that if that is not concrete, then he would be giving his people undue, um, undue trust and that they would think that maybe um, something was going to happen and in fact it didn't happen. So really what he wants is a concrete, some sort of concrete deal if he is to go to China. But he said that he would be happy to go there if a deal could be made. Let's listen in. There are many Tibetans. Then, you see, I think may get, may develop some kind of because of the unrealistic expectation. That also, you see, I have to see, think very carefully. Oh. As I mentioned earlier, see, some concrete sort of indication come there. Uh, really feel now, really, you see, time come to go there. I'm ready. On the comments made by Prime Minister Gordon Brown, he said he was happy to hear that other countries are supporting the Tibetans. But he also reiterated very clearly that he thinks that this is something that needs to happen directly between China and Tibet, that in the end is a Tibet and China issue, and that everyone else uh, can stand by and give support, but really it has to be a deal made between the two countries. Um, he says he has a very strong sense that something good could come out of all this, but he really thinks that China and Tibet have to sit down and have direct talks. Uh, Sarah, the Dalai Lama has expressed his concern about uh, the violence. Uh, what, if any, message did he have for his followers? Um, he basically said, look, I want a nonviolent movement. Um, but he did mention that he had spoken to the Tibetan Youth Congress, who are pushing back a little bit on this idea of a middle way. Um, but he was very strong today in saying that he has no power to tell them to stop with their demands. I told them very clearly the consequences. That decision up to them. How I can say, oh, shut up, how can? <laughs> These people also is determined, also is a part of Tibetan. But he did, he did mention, though, that when he had this conversation um, with people who are, are demanding an independent Tibet, he said, look, whatever you do is going to land on my shoulders in the end, and to really, really think hard about what you're doing and what you're saying um, if you're deciding to, to differ in, in what I have been preaching, which is a peaceful way.